Oh, hey everyone, how's it going? So I've got a uh, 5,000 watt low frequency inverter here and before this thing discharges you can see here on this side here I've got um, two MOS boards that I've replaced um, and they are the 200N04R MOS boards. You can see these are lit up. I obviously don't have it plugged in right now but I wanted to show you uh, there was a MOS board failure you can see here these are different, but these here are the old. So these are 1404Rs. They were replaced about a year ago with these 200N04Rs. Now, what you'll notice, there's still a charge on those over here, but what you'll notice on this side here, this is the AC side, you can see that these are not lit up. Okay, there's two reasons for this. Well, two possible reasons, that is. Number one, the... Um, it's likely that even though these look good and they don't look damaged, it's likely that they are in fact damaged because usually when one side goes, the other side goes with it. Um, so it's always a good idea that if you have a moss board failure such as like this, that you replace all four. Now I know some of you might think that's a cash grab or a money grab, but that's, that's not a joke because this thing here you can see that it's not lit up these look like they're still lit up a little bit they're slowly discharging but um, so uh, it's always a good idea to replace all four because it's likely that all four are in some way damaged second reason is because of the incompatibility between the two you have two different MOSFETs on each one of these things here now the low frequency driver is compatible with both of them however it's not a good idea to mix and match MOSFETs these over here actually have a lower ampere rating than the ones on the other side the newer ones so these are gonna get hotter than the ones on the other side okay it's just a good idea to replace all four and again this is a question that I get quite often I have some people who have older units and they want to buy backup parts and they only want to buy, you know, two uh, MOS boards or whatever, and that's fine. But also consider that uh, you need to look to see which ones you actually have. Now, I have all the updated MOS boards here. I do not carry any of these older ones. I don't have any in stock. It's not something that I deal with anymore. So if you have one board that fails, it's a good idea to replace all four or all eight if you happen to have a 15 kilowatt unit as well as the low frequency driver. Replace that. It's always a good idea to do that. Now, before you obviously power it on, uh, just be aware that if you only replace two, as you can see, the two of the MOS boards were working, and then you try to power it on, it's likely that you'll damage the others, or damage the new ones that you installed. So it's a good idea to just replace them all. And, of course, I do carry the uh, all all the sets of the MOS boards on my website, genetreesolar.com. If there's anything on there that you don't see that you need, I'm still adding parts, but if there's something you need in particular... Just let me know, and I can help you further. Thanks for watching, and take care.